spoke on the eve of the dedication of the library bearing his name. The facility based at Southern Methodist University in Dallas focuses on his time in office, including 9-11 and the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Autry Godfrey live in Dallas with more on the efforts taken to ensure tomorrow's dedication goes off without a hitch. Autria? Allison, in just 12 hours, all five living presidents will be seated there on that stage. So as you can imagine, security is about as tight as it can possibly be. Uh, we tried to talk with some law enforcement officials to try and get a little insight into their plan for tomorrow, but they told us that the most successful, successful security measures are those that aren't publicized. All you have to do, though, is take a look around, and you will easily realize that this campus is all but on lockdown. They make up what's been called the most exclusive club in the world. The group that shares one thing, the Oval Office. Protecting just one president requires an elite operation, but focusing on five, the toughest of tasks. So I was a little nervous about what happened in Boston, but I decided this is probably the safest place on earth that I can imagine. With five presidents here, I, I can't get much safer. That's because the Southern Methodist University campus is crawling with Secret Service agents, campus security, Dallas police officers, even snipers. And it's been that way for weeks. SMU police have been all out, like I've, the whole force, a lot of state troopers. Um, they've really like locked down a lot of different parts of campus. Students at the idyllic Dallas University say the stepped up police presence has been evident. Secret Service agents have been walking the halls of dorms and the fraternity houses that overlook the library have been told blinds must stay shut, among other orders. They have to go through ID checks and roster checks to make sure you live in the house. So. It's, it's pretty much on lockdown. Scenes like this one will be what to expect for every guest arriving for the dedication ceremony. Bomb sniffing dogs, hand searches of all bags, and metal detectors will screen each person. If anyone knows 